If you want to create a bullet list or a numbered list, go into the text tool and then click on the bullet or numbered list buttons up here on the info bar and enter some text. Hit the return key to finish the line and start a new bullet or number. This is called a hard return by the way. If you get to the end of the line and you want to add more text to the bullet, then hit shift and return to start a new line. This is called a soft return. Or hit return and then backspace to lose the new bullet and continue entering text. When you want to leave the list and start entering normal text again, hit return and then hit return again to leave the list. Or you could turn off the button on the info bar. If you want to create an indented sublist, then hit the indent button on the info bar. Notice the bullet style changes. And again, here's another. The same rules apply. Return to start a new bullet and return again on an empty bullet to leave the list or turn off the button. With a numbered list, you can change the number format and the starting number of the list. Right click on the list and select List Properties from the context menu. Then from the Numbered List section, choose the format or start value. So you've got these choices here and with the start value the numbers rise incrementally from your start choice. The lower section of the dialog, the list item section, gives you a lot more control over the appearance of your bullets and numbers. Park your text cursor in the list you want to edit to start. Then choose from indent that's the space between the bullets and numbers. Click on the arrows. Margin, that's the space to the left of the bullets or numbers. The font size. The colour, choose from one of the document's existing theme colours or pick one of your own using the colour editor. Then there's vertical offset. That moves the bullets or numbers up or down relative to the list. Replace with symbol. This is for bullet lists only and opens the symbol picker for you to choose a replacement symbol for your bullets. There are hundreds to choose from. Next we have replace from clipboard. If you designed your own bullets you could replace the existing ones with your own by copying them to the clipboard with a control plus C copy from the keyboard and then clicking on the replace button to complete the swap. And lastly we can reset the list by clicking on the Reset to Default List Items button. The first item in the dialog I haven't mentioned is the option to link to a previous list. Now what happens here is that if you've got a break in a list, maybe you wanted to insert a graphic or an illustration or a paragraph of ordinary text, say, then when you check this option the second list continues with all the attributes of the previous list. So these would be all the attributes just discussed like the font size, the colour and so on. And with a numbered list then the numbering would also continue over in the same format and sequence from the previous list. If your list has indented sublists then these two would inherit the attributes of the previous list. Note that a numbered list won't inherit the sequence from the previous list at any other level than the top one. So numbered sublists whilst inheriting other attributes will preserve their own number sequences.